Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today, Sunday the 9th of October, it's Tarot Day. Okay, so first cards that she wants me to use today is my Tarot deck. So while I connect and I get us a card from my lovely deck of cards, let's talk about a movie that I watched this week. The movie starred Nicolas Cage and it was called Snake Eyes. If you don't know this movie, it's regarding a wrestling match that's about to occur during a hurricane. And if you're the weather reporter, she says, it's a hurricane. They say, no, 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 don't call it a hurricane. Because even that one line is imperative to how the movie unfolds. She knows the truth about what's going on. This weather reporter standing out in the rain, getting blown away. She knows it's a hurricane because she can see it. She believes it. But the people there around her saying, don't say it's a hurricane. It's only a tropical storm. We want people to come out. Did you see that? I got my card. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to put it down. So let's have a look at the character of Nicolas Cage in this. He is a police officer. But look at the deception of him. He receives off cuts and paybacks. Here is the cards I'm doing next from the Anna had a range from Louise Benton. Okay, here's her website, which is also below in the description if you would like to go and buy a pack. So here's my little pack. This is not all the cards that you get, by the way. This is what she sent me as a thank you for what we do. Okay, so let's look at Nicolas Cage in this movie. He's supposed to be one full of integrity, rules, obligations, looking after some people, etc. But he's taking money on the side, he's corrupted. Okay, so he's not who he seems to be either. Then we have the character of Gary Sinis. Sinis. Okay, sorry how I pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But he's this huge military guy. He's now right up in the ranks of politics. And guess what? He ends up being the one orchestrating the assassination of this politician that's at the fight. Ooh. So what can we learn from this movie? <clears throat> last week I said there's good things coming to us all how did you go last week because I said there's a lot of money opportunities etc coming and the more we trust that the more it is actually going to come for us right so we've got to trust what we believe in okay these people in this movie they had lies and they had the deceit which hello we've seen this now for the past three years okay so what we've got us to do now is see through that illusion and let's see how the cards represent that today. don't know why it's taking so long for me to get one of Louise's cards. I'll just connect again. Come on, give me one card please for the purpose of the reading. Okay, so then we've also got the beautiful, oh, I can't remember her name. Now this one wants to pop. Now, is that just one card? Because if that's it, that's the one I'm going to take. Yes, that's one card. I'm going to take that one, okay? The beautiful Gina Gagulia, or whoever you pronounce her name. She was in Spy Kids. She played the mother. She was also in um, the movie with Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, where, um, what was that one called? Not 2012. Um, San Andreas, that movie. She played the mother in that one too, right? <clears throat> so she's in it we look at her character and how she knows the truth and how she went to the politician that day to give him information about the missiles that weren't really working the way that they were saying it in the media more lies more deceit so she knew the truth and when she came out and was telling people about it guess what they wanted her gone so it's how she ends up realizing that she was trying her best in a world gone mad like we have been for the past two years right so one little card from my lovey dovey cards that's all i'm asking i love these cards look how cute they are one card please one card represents what we all need to hear on the whole world oh not all of us just those those on the good loving white side of the universe what we need okay Okay, so this movie, I loved it. I have seen it probably 
15, 20 years ago when it came out. It's called Snake Eyes and it's got Nicolas Cage in it and Gary Senniz, S-E-N-I-S-E, I think is how you spell his name, and the mother out of um, Spy Kids. She's in it, okay? Oh, there it goes. Did you see that flick? Okay, so I'll just put these ones away first. Now I've just got to go down. Where'd that card go? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so here's a little lovey-dovey card I got. Okay, so now all we need now is my lovely ruin stone. So for how do I pick one of these? I just don't reach in, guys, and just reach for a stone. I reach in asking them to give me the stone that I need to get. So when I put my hand in, they, they're all feeling cold. So I look for that temperature fluctuation and also one that's sort of like saying, pick me, okay? Because as my fingers are here, it might be over towards the left. It says, I'm here. So I go over to there and I just feel the one that they want me to have. Okay, so it's not like I'm just randomly picking one out. So if I say, show me the stone that you want me to use for this week's reading, there it is, I'm getting a heat stone, and it's right down in here. It's this one, okay? That one is really hot. Oh, it's this guy. I've had him before. Ooh, isn't that funny? Okay, and one of my hairs. Had a duck get in there. Okay, so let's throw away my stones over to there. So now I've got my reading here. So let's see how we go with this movie that I've just watched with all this lies and how it all comes out at the end. We can only hope, right? Okay, so... I've got my book and first of all I've got my card oh we have the king of swords king of swords what a beautiful card king of swords let's go past the major arcana and we go down past the major arcana king of cups king of pentacles king of swords here he is on this page and i like showing him so you know that i've definitely got the right one okay so the king of swords this king is often found in uniform as a police officer in the military uh, in law or government okay or as a prison or security officer okay uh in fact any area of the law or discipline in higher positions these men are usually extremely articulate with razor sharp minds and or have the ability to think quickly and responsively. They also do well in mathematics, scientific fields, in investigative work or as engineers. In his presence, you get the distinct feeling you are being elevated. He would tend not to discuss his personal life, sticking to the purpose of the meeting. The King of Swords is careful where he places his trust, but he makes an excellent friend who gives good advice when asked. In the ne oh, we don't go the negative. So this is a guy of importance that's now in us this week. It sounds to me that this guy has integrity. This guy knows what he's doing and he speaks his truth about what he knows. Okay. So now let's go over to this card from the beautiful Louise Benton range. I love her artwork. Louise, you are beautiful. And this is called Divine Feminine. Okay, so there's the card for this week. Sacred midwife, lover divine, wisdom in her soul enshrined, embodying earth's ancient desire, holder of passion's primordial fire. Pillar of light from earth to source. Expression of creation's potential life force. Remember those three words, potential life force, because they just grabbed out at me then. Humility, grace and dignity. Loving unconditionally. Lighting the pathway to eman emancipation, to end all suffering and degrad degrada degradation. My voice is still not working right, guys, so please bear with me. Waiting for the tides to turn, for destiny to unfold and karma burn. Holding space for this to pass, pass our portal to Gaia's mystic heart. In the red at the bottom, it says, I am a pillar of light from earth to source. So there it is if you want to pause the screen. Okay, so the first three words that came out of there was, Expression of creation's potential life force. 
How many times have I said, guys, think about who you want to be, not what society is dictating that you must be, okay? Think about who you are and what you want to take forward. Remember, this king is one in charge. He's not a prince who just follows the rules of the monarch. This is the king who dictates what is to be done. He's also holding his sword downwards. Look at the fact that he's sitting with the sword down. So he's not in a fighting pose. He is contemplating. He's being resourceful in his own mind. And most of all, he is being empathic, compassionate and understanding to what's going on around him. That's what I interpret from that sword being faced downwards like that. Okay. The next thing I got here, waiting for the tides to turn, for destiny to unfold and karma burn. I've been saying this for three years now. Energy is always balanced, right? And we've got negative and positive energies, right? Energies go one way and they always rebalance, they always realign. But for the last three years, it's been, oh, we're hanging on, we're hanging on. We're just, and a lot of letting go. But ultimately, this must rebalance and realign. And that is what is coming, guys. Um, waiting for the tides to turn for destiny to unfold and karma burn. So I'm going to interpret that as there is a rebalancing coming. Oh, yes. We have to stay strong, guys. Okay. We have to stay mentally capable of going through this process of what is coming. I don't know if you've been watching closely without watching media etc but there's a lot of things happening that are not normal my daughter she just had two weeks off at school holidays and she went back to school last Tuesday because Monday was a public holiday so she's already just had four days of school and she has six teachers four of those six have not been at school all week now, they would not be on holidays because I know how they work in government bodies. Not everyone can go on holidays at once. Okay? So it's not a holiday thing. It's either family responsibility, an emergency, or they're sick. So I want answers like the rest of us. Why are so many people not at work? Then we look at the doctors. Yesterday, I had a friend over and she said, I've got to go to the doctors. And I said, well, go to this place. At 8 o'clock, they open. They have two doctors. And at 9 o'clock, an hour later, three more start. So they have five doctors on. She went there yesterday at 9.30 when there should be five doctors. There was one. Why was that possible? How did that happen where there's only one doctor on when there should have been five so she left there because they said it was a four-hour wait. Obviously, it would be probably six or eight-hour wait. She went over to another doctor's surgery, which is about half an hour drive from here. They are the same brand of doctor's surgery. It's like a franchise, right? So she went in there. Again, they should have had five or six doctors on because it's a bigger area. It's a bigger clientele. Um, but they only had four doctors on yesterday. So they were down as well. Why? Why? Why are all these people not at work? Why are there, Why now are there signs down my road, my major road where I live? There's major signs out now taking employers, staff wanted, apply here, now hiring or something else. Why are there so many shortages of staff? And what happened to those staff that used to be there? Where did they go? Where are they now? How is, is their health going? Well, this is all the questions that I ask as a critical thinker, okay? Because what's happening now is we're seeing the reality of the lies and the deceit that has been told by certain people over the past few years, okay? One of those big ones is about how sick people are getting. You know, when this all started years ago, 
Um, it was, if you get it, <laughs> you're going to die. Weren't we all led to believe that? Look how many deaths were reported. Every person who got it died. That's what I saw in the media. That was everywhere. Now you can get it. You still go to work. You don't have to wear a mask. You don't isolate. You don't have to quarantine. You can, don't even have to stay at home. You can still go to your courses, go to work, go to your job, go to your shops. You can do everything with it. But this thing hasn't diminished at all. It's still exactly the same as it was three years ago. So what has changed? That's the question that I want to ask. Why now is it that it's so different to what was said three years ago? So there are questions that people now want answered. And I'm certainly not going to be one of the people who say, I know, or I told you so. I don't want to be one of those. But we've got to sit there and calculate it all within ourselves, right? Because this Divine Feminine card held up with the King of Swords. Remember swords, they're always the battle, right? We're always going into battle with the swords, right? It's the fight. Funniest thing I saw the other day. A guy at a pub. This was a meme I saw. A guy at a pub will stand up and fight another guy who's looking at his wife, but he won't stand up to what has been against his integrity for the past duration, if you know what I'm talking about, okay? So this is the time now where we must look for those answers within ourselves and we say to ourselves, did I make the right choice? Did I do all I could to protect myself and my family, my friends and even my pets and anything else into the next five, ten years? Am I still going to be around in five or ten years? If so, what's my plan going to be? Because that's where I'm at, guys. I'm making this plan for five, ten years away. You know, I'm 56 now, so this is me coming up to when I'll be 70 in ten years. I'm coming up to 70 years old. But who do I want to be when I'm 70? Who do, where do I want to be when I'm coming up to 70? What sort of integrity, what sort of morals, what sort of values do I want to take forward with me that I can incorporate and teach to my child, to my friends, to my pets? Okay, how do I want their lives to turn out? Do I want to be one of these people who hide things, lie, deceive and try and control I don't want to be a person who controls others and says, hey, you can't do that. Don't even bother coming because you're not welcome to that. I don't want to be that sort of person who says, I'm going to control you because I am so angry, bitter, blaming or hanging on to my own regrets in life. So now I'm going to blame it all on you because I feel it was your fault. Because that's what's happening now. Everybody's looking to blame others for what we ourselves have created. And I don't want to be that person. Ultimately, I want to be the person who accepts everybody. I want to be that person who says, I don't judge what you've done. I will accept you as you are. However, I'm going to set boundaries in place. Okay? Because when we make those rules and we say, this is what I accept and what I don't accept, that's where we start taking our own personal responsibility. We start standing up for ourselves and we don't have to confront the other person. It's just saying, hey, do you mind? You know, this is my house, my rules type thing. Because I say that in my own house, my house, my rules. So getting back onto trucks, truck, track <laughs> my voice is starting to go guys here's my little lovey-dovey card love plays games and happy music with friends oh love plays games and happy music with friends this is where we've got to start raising our vibration what happens when we're playing games if it's like monopoly even if it's scrabble card games you're out playing hopscotch on a road with chalk and a little rock, whether it's even hide and seek, 
You can any sort of game that you play, it raises our vibration because it makes us feel good ultimately. Playing music is the same. So what type of music is your genre is the question today. Ask yourself, what sort of music do I like? Do I like opera? Do I like country and western? Do I like hard rock, soft rock? Do I like pop? Do I like rap music and all the other genres? Then you find out a band or singer who does that genre and you start listening to them. Listen to the words, read the words of the lyrics. So then you're feeling that song within you. And that's how we raise ourselves up. Okay? Okay. So, oh my God, I've got a Bon Jovi song going through my head right now. Okay? Because that's what I do when I'm raising up my own vibration. Do, 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 Okay? <clears throat> it's a song you may not know it. It's not one of their famous ones that I like to sing because it goes for eight and a half minutes. Okay, anyway, so find the song that you want to play today, guys, because this is this card that says raising up our vibrations because uh, we've got to keep our strength because we are about to be using the sword in our lives. If we want something, we must always fight for it is a message okay when we want something we have to invest that work we have to look at what we're doing and say what can i change to make myself succeed okay three weeks ago i start i got off my teas and my coffee and now i'm drinking this concoction and i love it i've made myself a new routine because i got sick with my throat but anyway, when we're on the precipice of change is when we do make those changes, okay? What does that line go? It says, we only make changes when we're standing on the precipice and looking down in that valley. So it's only when we're looking at, you know, we've been through all this experience and we're right on that precipice where we're either going to fall to our death or we're going to look back and say, right, I'm going to change this and be something better, Right? That's when we make this change. Don't get to that point when you're standing on the precipice, okay? Look after your health now while you're healthy so you don't get sick in two years because then you've got to go to a doctor who gives you that Band-Aid effect. And it's not a cure, remember? Okay? So we've got to look at it as looking after ourselves now. Play those games, listen to your music, stick with your tribe, and make your life better so this concoction that i drink now oh my god lemon honey ginger saying pepper and turmeric and i love it it's beautiful it's really all your anti-cancer stuff together ginger and the turmeric together with the honey it makes this thing like a fourth element that cures cancer cells. My God, it's also an anti-inflammation. So my throat, look at it. I haven't been to the doctor. I haven't taken antibiotics. I haven't taken any pills. Okay. All I've been doing is making this tea and drinking it and simply not talking as much as I used to. So today's cards, guys, we're getting there because we've still got the little ruin stone. Here he is. Let me find him in the book. Now, I know that I've had this guy before. So let me find him. Da, 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 da. Here he is. Is that him? This looks like him. And it is him. Okay. Here he is down here. It's this guy here. Let me just hold up the stone. There he is. So you know that's him. It's this one here. Let's go there with him. Okay. It is called the sun. Now, funny thing, because this week we've had a lot of solar flares. Helicopters have fallen out of the sky. Have you noticed that around California? There were three in a day. Solar flares are affecting electronic devices at this point. It's not paranormal, it's science, okay? So, look at these solar flares that are going on. Are you near where they are? The um, the great guy I like watching on YouTube is Mr. MBB333. Go find him because he loves looking at all these weird, 
where the things on the planet okay so we low so we low the sun ruin and it's called success oh my god okay one of the three fire ruins for Nordic people, the sun and its power to warm, heal, mind and body and grow crops was rare and treasured. <sighs> oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. You know, we're getting gifts, guys. You know the old saying that you've got to go through a million rocks before you find a diamond? That's what's coming to us, okay? Okay. Those that are on the good side here and we're trying to be the best version of who we are and we trust in the universe and we're doing all our raise our vibration hippie type exercises. <laughs> we want, you know, this, this crystal right here, that's a big amethyst, okay? Before I even read out the stone, let me just grab this guy. Oh my God. It weighs 14 kilos. Okay, hang on, I'm going to try and pick it up. Okay, here it comes. Oh, my God. It's this wide. So there's his bottom. Oh, my God, he's so heavy. Okay, he's 14 kilos. And oh, you can put your hand inside him. Okay, so from the side, you can put your hand right inside him. Oh, my God, he's a gorgeous rock. Okay, he's my amethyst. Right, because purple. Oh, my God, let me put him down. Oh, my God so huge okay i spray water on him okay he loves it <laughs> all crystals love getting wet but remember generally the ones that end in it ite they don't like getting wet all right so all you like solid nights and all those they don't like getting wet so don't wet them okay but he loves being wet so i spray him with my water bottle <clears throat> and his energy just goes oh ah! in the whole house so when i spray bottle psh, 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 put water with a little bit of salt in there too because it's just yummy for them but i <laughs> um hint melt your salt in a little bit of hot water add cold let it cool down spray the heck out of all your crystals i love it okay so i um love this guy because he creates a huge loving energy so around the house and it's all like bit 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 connected to all the other crystals in the house because i've got them all over the place in my house and as i spray them it's all like oh and they all just jump out and just get each other's energies it's really cool when it happens okay so because we've got to raise our vibrations up this week okay um with what's coming next year and the year after it ain't going good okay so how do we survive what's coming stay healthy stay mentally healthy okay so let's read the sun ruin because this is a gift that's coming it's so rare okay a strong positive ruin signaling the presence of success in almost any upcoming activity or pursuit i did a reading for a guy this week oh my god he said am i going to get a job i actually saw that he did he was going for an interview on like thursday or tuesday started with a t i said mate you're going for an interview on this day you're going to get the job he actually texted me yesterday um, well not text on Facebook Messenger and he said oh my god I went for the interview I got the job and I said yeah I knew you did thank you so much for the confirmation you know because good things are coming to us guys it's good for health self-confidence and happiness so go sing your music go and dance with your friends okay okay also indicates significant personal growth inner strength and the potential to achieve goals now this is the time guys this is amazing times for us remember the king of swords he is standing on our side okay let me just go back over to what he said okay um they are they're extremely articulate articulate with razor sharp minds and have the ability to think quickly and respond um you get the distinct feeling you are being elevated and he would tend not to discuss his personal life sticking to the purpose of the meeting so what's your purpose of your meeting you know my meeting is like my path where i'm going in my goals and dreams for the future so i'm always having these little meetings in my head am i doing what i am am i doing what's in my highest good to achieve that goal in my own future so even though i'm not physically in a meeting i have all these little meetings inside my own head every day 
Um, and I sit down and I think, is this going to be in my good best interest? Should I do that decision today? Should I go there today? Should I start drinking this tea more often with the cyan pepper, garlic, <laughs> turmeric, ginger, honey and lemon? You know, because it's a yummy drink. Uh, I should have made one before I started talking because now I'm going hot. But please remember, guys, the cards are still saying we are going through a war. It ain't over yet. But the equilibrium of balance is definitely on the rise back up. Okay? Keep your head high. Trust and love the universe. And be like Nicolas Cage in the movie Snake Eyes. If you see something that makes you just go, huh, huh, trust your gut. Go with your gut. Do a little bit of research and discover the truth. Talk to you all soon, guys. Bye.